And you're on. It's chill for today. Yeah, da, 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 da. And we're in the kitchen cooking, and I'm very oh, director. Yes. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank it's you. hot. It is hot. It's gonna be a scorcher here today. We've we're got going the fan in. Yeah. We're going into about a week <sighs> of 90s to low hundreds. It's just not my kind of weather. No, it's unusual for the Pacific Northwest. So we just, you know, we hunker down, turn the AC on, and watch some movies, and, you know, only go out in the early mornings, kind of like zombies. Stay well hydrated. Yeah, we, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's too early for me to do my... Yeah, your signature my glass, signature of, glass wine. of wine. Okay, so we're making bean burgers today. This is my first attempt at bean burgers, and we'll see. I'm afraid that all my really good vegan cook friends are gonna look at this and say, oh my God. So I kind of took a little from here and there and we're gonna go for it. So what I have here, I have kind of prepped this. I have a can of, you know, the 14 ounce cans, one of Pinto and one of black beans that I have ground up in the food processor, kind of left it creamy, kind of left it, you know, with texture. I have a cup of cooked oats here, very dry cooked oats, and I put a little salt in those. Then here I have um, what is, that up oh, I'm sorry, is that better? Yes. Is that better? Oh, I think I can rotate this. How about that? This is, I took uh, some Bob's, Bob, Bob's Red Mill TVP, and I cooked it, cooked it, I put it in a cup of not beef bouillon. And so that's in there, and that's uh, a half a cup of the TVP that's already been rehydrated, a half an onion that was finely chopped, and I sauteed the onion first and then added the uh, TVP after that. So there we are at this point. Now I'm going to start adding some herbs and spices. Herbs. Herbs and spices. And so what I have decided to do here is I'm going to add a teaspoon of mixed Italian seasonings, which I believe is, let's see, what is it? It's a thyme, marjoram, rosemary, oregano, basil, savory, and sage. Okay, then I'm going to add a teaspoon of paprika. They're out there going, oh my God, what is she doing? She I hasn't a clue. I haven't a clue. What's going to be interesting about this recipe, I'm either going to be, it's going to be a huge recipe. So I'm either going to say, oh, wow, this is just the greatest, or I'm going to say, oh, no, 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 and I'm going to have a ton of this stuff left. So we'll just see how it plays out. And then I'm going, I've written all this stuff down here. So I've got to put in a half a teaspoon of cumin. And even though I added a clove of garlic when I sauteed the onions. You can never have too much you garlic. You can't. You can't. And so I'm going to add a teaspoon. Kill for today's mother used to wear garlic. Say, uh, <laughs> yeah, she perfume. Was, she was a good cook, that lady. She was a good. In fact, this is, this is one of the things that I got from my parents' home. This bowl, everything was cooked in this bowl. You know, this is like a treasure to me. I can remember it as a child and everything, donuts, cookies, uh, bread dough, uh, chili, I mean. It no just... cake though. <laughs> oh, God, that cake. And here is a teaspoon of chipotle. Ooh, is that I know. that smoky flavor? Yeah, oh. he's very excited. Love that. He does. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of liquid smoke, which might be, yeah, just a, ooh, gosh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave that at a little. This is, yeah, a little less, a little less. It, it can be overpowering. So that was probably a half of a teaspoon plus, you know, plus a glug. All right, I was not going to add any oil to this, but guess what? You are. I'm adding oil. Just a tablespoon of this olive is, oil. Uh, just a tablespoon. Organic extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, right? just, just a, a tablespoon. Press. Okay, and then I'm going to add a glug. Well, of barbecue sauce. Organic. Oh yeah. Got this at um, Whole Foods. Just to give it a nice little barbecue thing happening there. And some pepper. And I'm gonna be really gentle on the salt because everything's had salt in it so far. 
So I'm just going to like a heavy pinch. I, probably not even a quarter of a teaspoon. All right, so here's where it's going to get scary. I'm going to mix all of this together. No, where it gets scary is tasting time. Oh, it's good. I hope it's going to be good. What do you think? Well, and uh, anybody out there that watches us taste this, yes. please stand by your phone and be prepared to call 911 just in case. Because Jill for today falls apart in a crisis. So if the director hits the floor, speed dial. <laughs> Well, I, you know, it's like I said, it's going to either be really good. It's going to be three things. It's going to be really good. It's going to be so-so. Or, or it's, it's going to be fried be, beans. Yes, yeah, or it's going to be fried beans. But we'll see. We can we? fry them again, then they'll be refried beans. Yeah. Okay. I think this looks pretty mixed up. What do you think? I would A little more? bet not. Bet, yeah. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. I was afraid this might be too dry, but actually, I'm kind of pleased it. Well, you know, a lot of the uh, a lot of the burgers, the pre-made burgers, yeah. vegan burgers you yeah. buy, are very crumbly. They fall apart. Yeah, and and that's what I wanted to try and avoid, and that's why I added things. And like I, a lot of moisture. I don't know what it is about a regular burger or a meat burger that keeps it together, whether it's the fat content or what. Yeah, I would say it's the fat. Okay, that and that's kind of why I or. Uh, added that tablespoon of olive oil. I, it's really in this whole mix it's pretty lame but I thought a little bit of it would help. Okay. Okay. And it's not supposed to be meat. It's oh, just no. supposed to be a meat yeah. alternative. Yeah. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and um, let this set for a few minutes because you know what I have some things in the dryer that have to come out and then we'll come back and I will see me you know form patties and see how that goes. It's um. I may have to form them in the fry pan instead of like here, so we'll we'll check that out. And then um, anyway, then we'll fry them up and we'll see how they taste. I can, I smell the, the barbecue sauce and I smell the smoke. Do you, director? Do you smell it? Any? I smell the smokiness. Okay. okay. All right, everybody. So we're going to take a time out here and we will be back soon. Thanks a lot. Okay, we're back and we're gonna do this thing let's uh director let's bring it on down and we'll see how it goes i've got i don't know a dollop there i don't know i think it's going to be too wet i think i'm going to oh no that's not bad oh, i think that that'll work kind of like a burger yeah okay. yeah i think that's that's going to work of course i don't know whether yeah it's going to fall apart if i try to i think it's going to fall apart if i try to you may no, need that's, to, that's neat. Uh, what? Go ahead. Yeah, but you may need to uh, do those in the pan or reshape them yeah. or something. Yeah, I think they'll go in the pan. But I think I may have to, yeah. But this is not bad. It's, uh, it's better than I thought. I thought it was just going to be, you know, totally. Well, now, the proof is in the pudding. Now, now are you going to have a length of French bread or slices? Because I will make a patty. Whatever Jill for today allows me to have. Well, I'll tell you. The director what. is an Edosaurus. He is an Edosaurus, but I know how much you love a long burger on a French roll. So I'm going to give you. Yeah, this is getting really. A longy. A longy, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is going to have to be reshaped in the fry pan. Thing. I think they would get the idea, yeah, though. Yeah, I, I do, I do. All right, of course, the proof will oh, be in the it taste. It will. I'm very excited. It sure smells good, though. It really okay. does. All right, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, go over the stove with these. I'm going to heat up some oil in the pan just a little bit, and then uh, we'll bring you back and we'll get that uh, get these going in the fry pan. You all right? All right, all right. Getting them in the pan here. They're actually being they're handling very well. I'm very impressed at how easily they are they're doing. Uh, this is a kind of a nonstick pan and I've got maybe, I don't even think a tablespoon of oil in there. So we're going to let these cook. I've got it on like kind of a medium high heat and we're going to, I don't know, what do you think director? Three or four minutes on each side? And what I are would, you laughing at? I would know that how. I want you to tell them what I gave you for a snack yesterday. Uh, Mr. Happy Face. <laughs> I did. Now you tell him what it was. I thought it was so cute. Rice cake. Yeah. With sunflower butter. No, it was peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay. But that's all right. 
was a rice cake with some organic peanut butter. Yeah. And it had two little raisins for eyes. Yeah. A carrot for a nose. Yeah. And it had floppy ears made out of apple slices. And a smile. And a smile. And a smile. Apple, apple smile. Yeah. That's right. Now Real the other, cute. It looked it, like a little cartoon character. He was surprised because he, he was working and I said, come, come get your snack. And he came out. You know, I have to say that, you know, we are like this. We are experimenting every day um, on trying to find food that, you know, we're going to enjoy and that will be easy for us to make. Uh, and I think if this works, I'm going to be able to make freeze these up and pull them out of the freezer just like you would a veggie burger, you know, like a Boca burger or something. And, uh, and then we can enjoy them that way because it's a big batch I made. So we're just going to see here, and go ahead, um, let's give this a couple of minutes, Director, and then we'll come back and see how they go before I turn them. Okay. Thanks. All right. We okay. are ready, yeah, we are ready to make the turn. <laughs> yeah. He's cooked, uh, see, about four minutes on, on this one side, so here we go. Ooh. I, I don't see that firming up. Not, no, it's to not. To the point it, where, it, uh, you know, it... Burger esque. It's not going to be burger esque. No. I, I think it'll, well, I don't know. You'd think that maybe um, once it has a chance to fry on this side, I don't think it's going to firm up yeah. like, like we want. I wonder uh, breadcrumbs or anything like well, that. Well, I could, it? and that's kind of why I added the oatmeal and, uh -huh. and the TVP. I thought maybe it would firm it up, but you can see, you know. No, I think here. if you dared put that in a bun or anything yeah. like that, yeah. it's just going to. Yeah. Squirt out. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't mean it won't be delicious. Well, it could be very tasty. I'm yeah. trying to think what we could use it on if we find that it can't go on you a burger. You could use it just as a as a protein uh, source. Uh huh. You know, yeah. along with some vegetables or a salad yes. or something uh -huh. like that. That may just be what we're doing for Rice lunch today. Or something. Yeah. You know, because it's beans. It is. No, it's going to be. It, you know, I think it's going to taste. It I looks think the taste good. Is it good. smells delicious. Mm, it does smell good. Yeah. But I think we're not going to get that texture uh, that will go into a burger. Well, no. it's a good experiment. You know, you find out what works, yeah. what doesn't work, and. Um, and there's a million recipes out there. There are. There are. I just decided to, you know, try my own thing well, here. Well, you know what? Uh, we tried some of the processed burgers. Yeah. Uh, Amy's and... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, Boca Burger. New Amy's. Seasons and... Yeah. Boca, and none of them have been really No, but this great, is not going no. to be firm enough, that's no. for sure. But it could be delicious. It could be. It could be. And you, you, let's go back to it could be delicious. I told you when you we went off to a break, what did you say? And I said... You told me, you told people you were going to, they were going to have to call 911. It was a joke. It was just some of the director's humor. All right. Yeah. This is <laughs> Every time you lift that up, you push it out of shape. I know. I know. I'm going to let it cook another few minutes and we'll take it off. Okay. And, uh, we're going to take it off. Take uh, off. Uh, this is Thursday. We'll take it off on Monday morning and see if it firms up a little. Okay? Uh oh. There is silence coming Jill from this today is giving me <laughs> the look. Uh, okay, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, plate this. And, and then we'll try it. And then we'll try it. We'll be back. All right. All right, we've got this bounty here on our plates. Um, we've got the burger, which I turned over one more time, so you can see it's browner. Got some French bread, my sprouts, some beautiful tomatoes, dill, dill, dill pickles and some uh, red onion. So, director is going to get on camera and he's going to tell us how it tastes because we have not tried this. Right? Okay. That's true. Right? Okay. All right, I'm going to shut it off while I go sit down. Okay, well, here I am. I'm going to... Uh, to we're try trying this. it natural. Just, we're just trying it yeah. plain. It definitely is... It's much more like a refried bean cake yeah. than it is like a burger. Yeah. So we're just going to give it a try. That's screaming for salt. Neat salt. It's very tasty. It is good. Oh! What'd you get? That chipotle seasoning has got a little kick to it, but very good. Nothing like a burger. If there was a way that I could firm this up. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think it's got potential. 
No? Yeah, I think so. Ooh! Yeah, <laughs> I just got That's some of it too. <laughs> I thought you liked it. I do. Take another I do. bite. Let's see. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, but it's got a texture very much like refried mm -hmm. beans. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. All right. Okay. Mm. So. Well, why don't you sign us off? Well, um, we're going to keep trying new things. Mm -hmm. And uh, look for other things on Joe for a day. We're going to get some. Uh, we're going to get radical here in a little bit. Uh, not today, but coming up. We've read some things that really disturb us, so we're going to share those with you. And we're going to try lots more recipes. We're going to take a field trip next week to the Oregon Garden. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, Can't wait for that. Yeah, so... Uh, take our camera. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So subscribe to us if you like us. Uh, if you like this episode, give us a, a, a like. And if you don't like it, just kind of forget about it. So, anyway, we hope to see you back here again soon. And uh, still waiting for the cake, but that's okay. <laughs> Thanks for your support. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, Jill. Goodbye, Jill.